Hello, my wonderful and amiable listeners. Welcome to another interesting news. The Presidential Election Petition Court, PEPC, sitting in Abuja on Saturday, struck out an application of the Liberal Party candidate. Mr. Gregory Peter will be filed to interrogate the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, on the technology it deployed for the conduct of the general election. Specifically, Peter Gregory will be who is challenging the outcome of the presidential election that was held on the 25th of February, and in the application prayed that the courts to compel the electoral body to answer 12 key questions it listed on the interrogatory be filed on the 22nd of May. He wanted the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to, among other things, tell the court the date it conducted a fun- functionality test on the purported improved technological system it deployed for the election as well as the names and details of those that conducted the test. According to Vanguard, Peter Gregory will be equally urged the court to compel the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to supply, the an- to supply its answers to the following questions. Who created or deployed the four application patches updates to fix the HTTP 500 error that prevented the in-transmission of the result of the presidential election on the 25th of February 2023. What was the exact time of the occurrence of the technical glitch which prevented the in-transmission of the result of the presidential election on the 25th of February 2023? what time were the technological glitches fixed and or repaired? What percentage of the result of the presidential election was uploaded on the IREV on the 25th of February 2023? What percentage of the result of the presidential election was uploaded on the IREV as at the time of the declaration of the results of the presidential election on the 1st of March 2023. If the presidential election was conducted concurrently with the National Assembly election on the same day and at the same time using the same technological devices, why were the glitches only with respect to the presidential election? Peter Obi and his party added. They maintain the an- that answers. They maintain the, that answers the commission will provide to question the to, to the questions will be very vital to the de- to the determination of the petition they filed to change to challenge the declaration of President Ashwajibola Metunumbu of the ruling All Progressive Congress APC as the winner of the presidential election. However, all respondents in the matter urged the court to dismiss the application for want, for want of competence. Cited as first to fourth respondent in the petition are the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Ashwajibola Ahmed Tunumbu, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Kazim Shetima and the All Progressive Congress. Meanwhile, in an anonymous decision on Saturday, Justice Aruno Tosamani led five member panel struck out the application on on the premise that it was filed outside the pre yearn period. Meanwhile, the panel gave Peter Gregory Obi and the Labour Party LP the nod to play 
in the open court two videos recordings he tendered in evidence. While in the first video, the Independence National Electoral Commission Chairman Einek, Pro Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, while addressing a press conference before the general election, assured that the result of the presidential election will be electronically transmitted with electorates being able to view the result in real time. In the second video clip, an independent National Electoral Commission INEC National Commissioner, Mr. Festus Okoye, equally assured that the results would be would also be transmitted in real time with the IREF portal made accessible to the citizens. Taking Nigerians' opinion. Anthony Ndubisi Udwale said, Okay, we are watching where all this will lead to come. To come and join the indigenous people of Biafra. Let's find our own enemies. You said, No look at how they are turning you up and, and down, telling you categorically that you can't get justice in their own courts. Sanja Favor said, Bitter Peter Obi, Enshejo Jagaban. Adeyemi Nurudin said, Don't waste your time. Go and work with Jagaban because Ashikwa Jobola Ahmed Tunubu is last hope to Nigerians' solution. Destiny Chimi will be always said, Injustice in this country is highly irritating. Jamie Ibibia Osfeld said the Independent National Electoral Commission should be able to defend itself. So is the tribunal denying them of that opportunity? Jamie Razak said, nice one. God bless Nigeria and God bless the President Ashiwa Jubala Metunumbu. Orane for Omeneka said, I always said that the judiciary will never be fair. Law Sunday said, So many skeletons in eye neck closets would have exposed them before the tribunal don't want a fair hearing because Ashwajubala Metunobu is their choice, not the electorate. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. And let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below and i will see you on the next news bye for now